Hello guys and welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. Today I would like to present uh, Lollipop 5.0 for Note 3. This Lollipop version of Android brings more improvements uh, from uh, the KitKat Android 4.4.2. So I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for making uh, your phone work better from the previous version if you update it directly to the KitKat Android to the 5.0 Lollipop Android. First of all, let's take a look to the new Android. It's very blue, looks very good, works better than KitKat, but it has uh, his box. I recommend to you for best settings to make a format of the phone to make a factory restoration and I'm gonna show you the secret menu to do this I read about a lot of problems on the internet of, of the lollipop installation problems with applications battery life problems but uh, if you are looking on this you don't if you don't use the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi or the location GPS please turn it off because this will drain up your battery it's normal it's very normal the S beam the NFC will drain up your battery if you leave them opened first of all turn off your phone Okay, and now let's get into the secret menu. Hold volume up, the front key and the power key. Recovery booting. Okay, this is the secret menu. So you have to wipe data factory reset. Just go with the volume button. Okay. And select, let's see. And select wipe. Wipe data factory reset. And you can do a wipe partition too. I'm not gonna do this because if I do this, I will lose all the applications. Before you do the wipe reset, please be careful, make your backup with Samsung case, connect the phone to the computer, make the backup, um, backup your messages, backup your uh, contacts, your uh, phone and beside Samsung KS3, uh, go in the accounts, go in the accounts and back up to Google, synchronize all to Google. And this will synchronize the application data, the calendar, contacts, I don't use the drive, your Gmail account, um, a lot of Picasa web albums, a lot of settings, and the Samsung account. Synchronize it, you have um, for example, KS3 does not always uh, save the backup for S Planner, for example. I had problems for S Planner to save my backup. So I used the Google account and it saved my uh, appointments. Yeah, it saved my all, all my appointments. Okay, now let's talk about the bugs. If you do that format of the phone in the secret menu, you will save it will save you for a lot a lot of problems like the drain the bill of the battery but you have to install all the programs all the all the applications from the play store and samsung uh, store so this is the first bug i saw in the s cover when you close the s cover it doesn't show you the clock so what 
what you have to do is turn off the phone, restart it and will work. Or you can remove this cover and put it back on. In the KitKat, it was another problem to the S cover interfering with S planner. When you dis disable the alarm or the reminder, in 5 or 10 minutes it appears again. Okay, this is the new bug in the lollipop with the S cover. Another bug, I think, or it's a delay, I don't know, uh, I don't know it yet, are these widgets from the bar. Um, if I turn the bar, if I hold the phone with this finger and I want to, see, it doesn't work. always to turn off or on the buttons yeah see not always okay and Samsung removed the mute button the vibrate button and the connectivity data 3G, 4G button or option. To keep those functions, I personally put the button, the mute button and the sound and the vibrate here and the mobile data here. Okay, so for the pros for this Android, new Android system, uh, the 4K, its videos are working very well uh, personally, I tested in MX player and uh, the video runs very smoothly. Let's see, 4K. As you can see, it runs very, very good, very smoothly not with interruptions I even run 3D content okay this new blue design I like it very much I like the clocks in uh, the S view but now I'm not showing with this bug okay other bugs I think the delay on the turning of the phone for example in the browser if you are turning the phone it takes a while to turn the image, see? Yeah. It's a kind of long delay. But at KitKat, the browser did make, made an error and crashed. Now with this browser in HTML5, uh, it's much better, it's much better for navigate and since now the browser didn't crash me at all let's uh, see the settings menu it's all a bit the same the thread ring the usb tethering the bluetooth tethering it's working very well very smoothly very fast uh, the data usage samsung incorporates is its own application the applications some applications in google pay will not work so when you use the mobile da mobile data, it will measure your data. I put 800 megabytes, for example, and minimum to wear me 100 megabytes of information. Please don't don't turn uh, when you're not using the location because it activates the GPS. GPS drain a lot, a lot of battery. So use only the necessary the uh, devices. The SVOS control it's more accurate. You can use these features. It doesn't up, it doesn't drain up or uses your battery, but only when the alarm starts or you say to the camera shoot smile and capture. And this uh, will not uh, use very much power. Air gesture off, air view off, air command off. I don't need it. But if you if you use this function, turn it off. It uses a lot of battery, these functions. 
motions. A smart alert, leave this function because you will catch the missed calls. This is, I think this is important. And uh, this will use power only, only when you receive a call or you, you want to pause the sound uh, of the phone. Smart screen, use this um, to prevent the screen for turning off. And it will look at your eyes to see if you're watching the screen. So palm motion, leave it off. For example, if you are listening to the music, uh, it uses a sensor of, from uh, the top side of the phone and it will uh, look at your hand when you put your hand, for example, over here, it will turn mute the sounds. So leave it off, it will save your battery. Um, to accessories, it's a little bit... Uh, these are the clocks. This is a nice clock for the S cover, but it has bugs. Okay. So, this is the presentation for the Android version of 5.0 Lollipop. If you like the video, please subscribe and like. See you.